On Saturday, Marjorie Taylor Greene was on the stump for GOP gubernatorial candidate from Michigan, Tudor Dixon, along with Donald Trump. And during her speech, she said something so egregious, so reckless, so deeply dangerous that I can't not think that she is literally trying to incite a civil war in the United States. Take a look. We're all targets now, though, for daring to push back against the regime. And it doesn't stop at a weaponized legal system. I'm not going to win mince words with you all. Democrats want Republicans dead, and they've already started the killings. An 18-year-old boy was run down by a Democrat driver who confessed to killing the teenager simply because he was a Republican. Even right here in Michigan, just last week, an 83-year-old woman was shot in the back for advocating for the unborn. Joe Biden has declared every freedom-loving American an enemy of the state. But under Republicans, we will take back our country from the communists who have stolen it and want us to disappear. We will expose the unelected bureaucrats, the real enemies within, who have abused their power and declared political warfare on the greatest president this country has ever had. I mean, look. It's Marjorie Taylor Greene, so it's not necessarily surprising to hear her say something so deranged. But at the same time, we can't become accustomed to this kind of political rhetoric because it's deeply dangerous. It's dangerous. Now, before I get to the uh, bulk of what she says here, I've got a nitpick. Republicans have got to stop using words like regime and communist if they have no idea what those words mean. Joe Biden is not a communist. He is a capitalist. You may disagree with some of his policies, but that doesn't mean that he's a communist. Second of all, regime refers to a whole system of governance, not an administration. It's not the Biden regime. It's the Biden administration. Just because you don't like him doesn't mean that it's some sort of a new regime. I hate that they say this. I get why they're doing it, because they're trying to imply that it's a regime because Biden is an authoritarian. But that's not what that word means. So as a politician, maybe you should use these words correctly or perhaps look up what they mean before using them. But either way, let's get to what she actually said and why this is so dangerous. She says that we're all targets now for daring to push back against the regime. She says Democrats want Republicans dead and they've already started the killings. Now, why is this so dangerous? First of all, it's not true, obviously. And second of all, this is tacitly communicating to deranged Republicans that they are justified if they want to do violence against Democrats because Democrats want to do violence against them. So it's a sort of self-defense if you do an act of violence or terror against Democrats. That's what she's saying here. And she even has a couple of anecdotes where there, there was, you know, Somebody who ran over an 18-year-old boy because he was a Democrat, and they confessed to killing him because he was a Democrat. Okay, who would think that that's justified? What Democrat would you find that says, you know what, good for him, I'm glad that that 18-year-old boy was killed for being a Republican? I mean, who would, who would agree with that? She's making it seem as if Democrats are okay with this, when in actuality, no sane person finds this acceptable. But you can find anecdotes on the opposite side of Republicans doing political violence. In fact, there's an abundance of anecdotes of Republicans being dangerous and violent. That doesn't necessarily mean that all Republicans want to kill Democrats. I could point out how Donald Trump, the last sitting president, literally called Black Lives Matter activists thugs, and he said when the looting starts, the shooting starts. I could point out how Ron DeSantis, governor of Florida, effectively decriminalized running over protesters. I could point to polls that demonstrate how nearly a third of Republicans think that political violence may be necessary to save the country. I could point to the January 6th insurrection. But what I would not do is make a generalization so broad about all Republicans and suggest that they all want Democrats dead because that is reckless and it's not true. But that doesn't stop Marjorie Taylor Greene from using this bombastic rhetoric. And if you'll notice over the years, her rhetoric has gotten a lot more bombastic and explosive. She started off by just saying dumb things and her rhetoric has gotten more insidious lately, more dark more dangerous, and she is going to get people riled up to the point where this will lead to violence. But that's the goal, because perhaps she's one of the nearly one-third of Republicans who think that political violence is necessary to save the country. 
And again, this is a sitting member of Congress who has become the face of the Republican Party trying to convince people that Democrats want Republicans dead. If you can't fathom the ways that Republicans are going to use this to galvanize them to do something dangerous, I don't know what to say. But at this point in time, even if I do believe that Marjorie Taylor Greene is dim-witted, I think that she knows what she's doing. She knows that what she's doing here is going to rile up Republicans to do violence against Democrats who they believe want them dead. So this is her trying to incite a civil war, move us clo closer to that. Or perhaps maybe it's not that deep. Maybe she doesn't want to incite a civil war. Perhaps she's just using this to galvanize people to come to the polls. Either way, it's deeply dangerous. And if Republican leadership actually cared about the future of this country and the health of our democracy, they would stop letting members say things like this. They would reprimand them or repudiate them publicly whenever they say things like this because it's not okay. Do yourself a favor and click the join button on YouTube to become a member. Because Mike's doing a great job getting to watch his videos before everyone else is tremendous. Many people are saying this. Join today, folks. You won't regret it.